die or be killed. <laughs> um, well, I'd rather die. Uh, die once every day and live forever. Kill your mother every day for her whole life, and everyone she die, everyone she tells dies. <sighs> I'd, I'd die. I'd rather die every day. Uh, I, I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't. No, I can't kill. I couldn't kill my mum. I couldn't do that. That's fucking horrendous. Um, be a girl. Be a boy. Well, I'm, I'm a boy, so I'd go for a boy. Uh, toss of a tiger, or have a dog rape you tied up uh, a, a tail attached to you <laughs> okay okay um i feel like tossing off a tiger would be very fucking dangerous um very dangerous uh being raped by a dog i mean it wouldn't it wouldn't be fun by any stretch would it how are we defining the rape as well do you know what i mean like is it just rape where the dog fucks you or is it a real power thing which rape actually is is the dog like holding you down biting your neck uh telling you that you're a piece of trash and then fucking you and you're there crying is it that kind of rape are we going in all in on on that or is it or are we talking um are we are we just talking about you know you've got a tail attached to you and you're tied up and the dog just comes along and starts fucking you because it's just fucking you then I think I, I think I'd rather get raped by a dog, just because of, just because of how dangerous tossing off a tiger is, you know, because it's basically rape or death, and uh, some people might prefer death in that situation, but I I I I I think I'd rather rather be raped and live. I think that's what I'd go for. Uh. Be a legendary py uh, be a legendary pyromancy. Uh, be a corrupted necromancy. Um, I, I'd, I'd go for pyromancy. I think. Go to Auschwitz. Okay. Go to Camp Twenty Two in North Korea. Um, what as? What just as just to visit? If it's just a visit, then I don't really. Mind. I think I'd probably go to Auschwitz because North Korea still isn't really open, is it? Um. So I'd probably go to Auschwitz. Uh, also, we, you know, we kind of know what happened at Auschwitz. If it's during the time of, you know, when people are <laughs> when people are going in, when people are getting kidnapped and and Jews are going into Auschwitz and whatever they're doing in Korea, I'm not totally a hundred percent on what's happening there. But if it's like that, I probably. I'd probably go to Auschwitz, yeah, because we don't know what's going on in North Korea. We don't know what they've done to them. We don't know what, what, what tests they've done on people. We know what's happened in Auschwitz, uh, which doesn't make it better, um, to be honest with you. Uh, but would you rather go in knowing what's going to happen, or would you rather go rather go in and uh, wait and see? I'd rather, if, if, if there's going to be an atrocity that happens, I'd rather have some idea of what's going to happen before it happens. And to be fair, Auschwitz, um, you might get lucky and be one of the ones that just gets shot for for just being a Jew, um, which I'd be fine with, to be honest with you. Uh, I wouldn't want to live through Auschwitz. No chance, no way. Uh, so yeah, I think I'd go for Auschwitz. 59% of people agree with me on that one. Uh, have 20 years to live in London. Uh, have 50 years to live in Bradford. Um, I mean, you, is there any places you can go? Is that, is that all you can do? Like, I can only be in London? Like, like, if I leave London, I'll kind of turn to dust, or if I leave Bradford, I'll turn to dust, because I don't know what's in Bradford, I guess nothing. Uh, or nothing much, which is why 50 years... I, I, I think I'd probably go for 50 years in Bradford. I think, I think... I like London. I actually really love London, but I think it's overrated if somebody would want... I think it's far... I don't think it's 30 years uh, better than Bradford that you would only get 20 years to live in it. I think 50 years... 
would be better. So I'm gonna go 50. Yeah, most people agree with me there. Uh, two thirds of people agree with me. 